Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. So today is the 31st of August 2022. It is a Wednesday, the day of Mercury and also the last day of August. How interesting. No major transits today. The moon is in Scorpio, but we are about to enter September. Um, I'm feeling a strong energy at the moment. Um, August and July have been really intense months. And now we're heading into September. It's now, for me, that kind of time really, it, it's kind of marking the, the entrance into autumn. Um, even though the weather may change and it's not the same, like particularly in the UK, it's not as cold as it used to be. I remember going back to school and um, in early September and there was frost on the ground. And now it's hardly likely that that will happen. So it's just interesting, the change of energy that still is occurring. So maybe it might be useful to just review what it is that you would like to achieve. Um, just um, have a look at where you are now, where you'd want to be, um, how things are going. Um, yeah, a life review might be quite useful today. But anyway, see how it goes. The law of least effort is the law that I would follow today. Um, and, you know, review, that doesn't require much effort. That just requires you observing and looking back. So see how it goes. Today I'm reading with the um, Tower of the Divine and I'll also be clarifying with the Zodiac, so the Astrology reading cards. Let's see what the reading has in store for us today. The Spirit, what messages? I won't take them. What messages would you like to communicate to the collective today? So we have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Wands reversed, Nine of Swords reversed, Two of Wands reversed, the Eight of Cups, um, Eight of Cups right way up, the Page of Cups reversed, the Hierophant, Judgment. The Lovers, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Wands, oh my god, wow. Okay, so we have um, the sun, judgment, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 cards, right, okay. Nice light reading for the uh, last day of uh, August. Um, <laughs> right, what's going on here? I mean, something very big, clearly. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 five okay we have five out of six so there's there's a big big external influence going on a quest for happiness um in the respect of um going forward for your dreams um we've got really powerful symbols of the sun here not only do we have Ra here himself, but we also have Hanuman looking at the sun um, with the lotus. Um, there's almost a sense of a real arising. The sun is rising. Judgment rises. That's, that's the whole thing. Um, so we've got like a big thing. A particular, look at this fire that's here in this side. The Ace of Wands, this passion, this fire, this burning, this desire, this thing 
that is rising. There seems like a sense of injustice that has been happening um, in the respect of like, you know, there's not been an ability to be able to, to be true to oneself. You've not been able to be... Um, You've not been able to be uh, honest um, in the surroundings that you've been in. Um, and it's really caused some kind of mental anguish. There's been this like... <sighs> you know, this story is so interesting for this Seven of Wands. Because it's, I think I've said it before, it's based on a myth. It's not really like they don't even know if this this person existed, um, but it was indicative of all of the of, of basically how America's railroads were built, and it was built on the on the sweat and the blood of black slaves, and you know th this is the oppression um, that is being almost overcome in a way. The Seven of Wands is is almost saying to you to to remember what you have been through in order to get to where you are now. So this is what this is saying, because like, you know, you've had to let go of certain things. Maybe you've thought, okay, right, yeah, I know I need to change my mindset in order to move on and move forward, because I'm really quite angry about it. But there was, there's something here that says about, um, you know, you having to recognize the pain that you came from. And it's interesting, because I just got a bit of a headache just then in my temple um so i think it's about like just remembering that also taking care of yourself taking care of who you are taking care of um uh you know not worrying about other people it's about you and about your own mindset um and you need to keep care of that take care of that and when, actually no you need to keep you need to keep constant care of that it's really important the two of wands is a movement out of something that's a structure. You know, you, you're you like, I can't, I can't stay here. I can't, you know, look, this figure, I think this is Moses, this, uh, this, this story. So it's about, you know, leaving everything or leaving what you know behind um, so that you can move on, so that you can, you can go on to bigger and better um, and then you've got the Hierophant, which is almost like you have to really, and she, this is white buffalo woman, but she's also holding the peace pipe as well. So there's almost a sense of coming to peace or coming to a sense of peace within yourself that knowing that this is the right thing to do, um, knowing that this is like walking away is, is the best thing to do right now because r your energy is needing to go somewhere else. There's this sense of like agonizing, um, which which you're over now, you know, you're done now. And, you know, there was a sense of like, you know, you did learn some stuff. You did, you did kind of get some things from it. Um, but now it's kind of, it, it's almost like become a double-edged sword in that respect. The lovers, um, there may be somebody on the horizon um, or there may be someone that you might have met. Um, more importantly, I think, is more about the congruency with self. So it's the caduceus, you know, finally the, these two, the Ida and the Pangala are finally coming together. So you're finally with this sense of you like leaving and also leaving what this is, whatever this Eight of Cups is, and then also this Hierophant as well, and being confident in that sense that you you know what you're doing, and also you know that this is the right thing to do, um, and that, you know, it's, it's, it's the doctrine. So you've, I don't know, there's a sense of you doing this before. Like you know that this, um, you know that this works for you. You know that this has worked before. Um, it's interesting. I don't know if you have any memories of things, um, that are coming up of maybe you, when you were younger or something where you just did stuff and it turned out all right, but it's almost like if you had the bravery, because, you know, now when we get older, our bravery goes, you know, we, we, we lose our bravery that we had when we were younger, you know, the verve and the kind of like push that we had when we were younger. 
you know, spurs us, spurs us to do things that we would have never been able to do maybe at an older age. So if there was a time like that, you know, just, just remembering that about yourself, it's almost about the, like, the, I see this almost as the doctrine about yourself. And because you've come to peace um, with that sense of yourself and also with this situation that's quite oppressive because we've got the seven of wands here well, you can't get more oppressive than this apartheid that happened you know this sense of like you know um division and oppression of the people who built the very place where they were enslaved to so so it's that it's that kind of realization for yourself and um you know we've got the empress as well you know beautiful incredible female divine energy which is allowing you to kind of bring forward um your own personal qualities in how you make things manifest within your life truly manifest yeah we're not talking about the like the magician yeah the magician is the initiator you know it's the male but this is more about the nurturing you know and it's interesting how we've got like the hierophant as a woman so it's, it's, it's just this, this sense of like nurturing, cradling, loving, loving of oneself. Look at this, this beautiful embracing of the shadow. Beautiful. And there's also something to do with like Eastern philosophy. It's interesting how this doesn't look very Eastern, but this is Eastern. This is an Eastern style building, like an Eastern, maybe Chinese or Indonesian style building, more Chinese actually. So... So there's something about, um, I don't know if you look at your Chinese star sign or anything like that, maybe what element you are, um, and have a little look at that and see what, what kind of like things may come forward in terms of relevance for what this situation is happening right now. Because this Empress energy is telling me that there's a sense of you really being able to fulfill your potential truly by, you know, by, by walking away. You have to get away. You have to move, like move. Even if you don't like... Um, even if there's like, you know, not a physical actual move, maybe, maybe get some skipping rope and just jump or maybe just like go for a walk or something like that. Um, you know, there's that sense of just moving. Um, yeah, bleeding neck. That's a beautiful reading. And interesting how I put it that way immediately, right? Leo reversed. Leo is the king. Look at that. The energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. So what this is telling me is that there's a real need to like believe that this situation is divinely guided. There's a real need for you to, to recognize that this situation is important for you to move forward. Look at all this fire. The king. The king is here to greet you. He's there. And, you know, I mean, you know, the sun and the empress, you know, you've got your divine masculine and your divine feminine, you know. Okay, they're different different concepts in the respect of like, you know, a material plane and then also you've got the astral plane, the astrological plane. But in terms of divine energy, whereas this is more about the enforcing energy, it's more like the, this is more kind of the, kind of the yeah the maybe almost primordial energy the more in, initiatory energy this is kind of like the secondary energy that will come in after that you know so um i think it's really important for you to understand that this is that this is something that you need to kind of take charge with you need to believe in yourself um this is a this is a call from the universe to remind you to be in your power because there is a shit ton here. Yeah. This Ace of Wands is the initiatory energy, you know? It's the divine. It's the, um, you know, it's the Kundalini energy. Hence me referring to my tattoo here, um, to the Caduceus. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, I think that's all I've got to say, my friends, because I'm kind of blown away with how profound this reading is. Yeah, it's so strong. So, so strong. And about you finally stepping into your power. I mean, how how synonymous, how, 
how like synchronous with what I said at the beginning um, with, with you looking at your life and taking and you know I know today is the law of least effort but you know it's just a you know this is a review so you can take the right steps after that incredible reading I hope you enjoyed that reading I really did um if you did like it please do give it a thumbs up um please do subscribe for more readings I will be uploading tomorrow um but otherwise you have a beautiful Wednesday my darlings thank you so much to all of my returning subscribers you're all amazing love you lots all of you and I will speak to you really soon take care my darlings bye